Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Stefania. I am a content creator and I'm a cosplayer and I have a bunch of cool things to show you guys today. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge, huge Marvel fan and a huge X-Men fan and I have been collecting comics for the last few years now and I thought I'd show you guys what I recently got. Now, I went to this small little convention that was near me. They had so many comics, so many vendors, so many toys and I was like, I love it here. So. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from that con. There are going to be a few comics that I picked up other places or I was given that I will show you as well. This is really exciting because I have some really, really cool, cool comics. Stay to the end to see one of the best comics I have ever purchased. Let's get to it. First up, if you know me, you know I'm a huge X-Men fan and a huge Rogue fan. She is my favorite Marvel character, my favorite X-Men, and I have like almost every comic of hers, right? So the first comic I have is Rogue issue number one. This is the first issue in her first run of a solo comic and with number one comes number two. I have also the number two issue from that run. I love this character a lot and what's really cool about the titles of both of these books is that they're hollow. The blue part of this title is hollow and then the whole gold part of this title is hollow which is really really cool and I love that about this cover. And of course you can't have Rogue without Gambit. So I also have issues one, two, three, and four of the Gambit series, which is also his first solo series run. And what's cool about this cover is that this title is also hollow. You can see that. They're matching. Okay, so the majority of the comics I will show you guys are comics that I have gotten at the con. I will say it's gonna get better and better for each comic that I show you guys because like I was surprised at the stuff that I found and I was very, very happy with what I got. The so first up is The Amazing Spider-Man number 297. This is the Black Suit Spidey fighting Doc Ock. It is direct edition too, which is very nice. I really loved the cover. I also like love The Amazing Spider-Man. And next up we have The Uncanny X-Men issue 212. This is from 1980 and it is the first round of Wolverine versus Sabretooth. This cover, you guys, is just really, really cool. Like, it's only orange and black, but it works so well. I love the art so, so much. And of course, it's Wolverine, so he's gonna look cool all the time, right? Okay, next up, with me being a big fan of Rogue, I had to get the second appearance of her. This is Uncanny X-Men issue 158, and this also ties in with ROM 31 as her second appearance. I love that she was a villain. I really love a good villain to hero story, and I guess that's why she is one of my favorite characters. She knocked Wolverine. Of course, I had to get the second appearance of Rogue comic because I also have the first appearance of Rogue Avengers Annual 10, and I will show you guys what that comic looks like, and I do have it signed as well. Next up, we found quite a few first appearance comics, I will say. We have the Uncanny X-Men issue 244. This is the first appearance of Jubilee. This is the comic where the X-Women go out for the night and of course, you know, things gotta happen, right, to ruin it. And they meet Jubilee. Next up, I have the Uncanny X-Men issue 269. This cover, you guys. I love the feud that Rogue and Carol have with each other ever since, you know, in Avengers Annual 10, if you have read the comic or if you haven't. That is the comic where Rogue is introduced and in the first few pages we see Carol falling from the sky. Nobody knows what happened, but later on you find out that Rogue is the one that absorbed her powers, put her in a coma, and she actually took those powers permanently. This beef they had with each other has been going on for years. Next up we have the Uncanny X-Men issue 282. This is the first appearance of Bishop and Bishop is a really, really cool character, one of the coolest X-Men characters. Keeping in with the X-Men theme, back in March I went to a convention and I was looking through comics, I was looking through graded comics, and I came upon one of the best comic books to exist, and that is X-Men issue number one from 1991, graded at a 9.2. This is one of four covers from 1991 of X-Men issue number one, which is the best-selling comic book of all time, and this is cover B. This is a Chris Claremont story with Jim Lee and Scott Williams art, and it is one of the most iconic comic covers of all time. That being said, at this small con that I went to, I was searching through bins, and I stumbled upon cover A of X-Men issue number one from 1991. But that doesn't end there. No, no, no. I was looking through more bins and I found cover C 
from X-Men number one, 1991. And then right before I was about to leave the con, I was thinking I was done finding stuff. I was trying to find the last cover, which has Magneto on it, which is like one of the best covers. And I was like, let me check this little booth that's by the door, see what comics they have. And behold, I find cover D, Magneto. X-Men issue number one from 1991, cover D. So now I have the complete set of X-Men number one covers. And I will show you what it all looks like together. This comic was so iconic because it had four different covers that created one big image when you connected them. And this was the fresh all new X-Men from 1991 with the Chris Claremont story and Jim Lee art, this became the highest selling comic book of all time. But what was really cool is that I also found this comic which is x-men number one but it is a gatefold cover so a gatefold cover means that there's this cover on the outside and then when you open it you flip open the cover and it has the first half of that big image and then on the back you do the same thing where you open the back cover and flip over the cover and it has the second half of the image so the front has a and b and the back has c and d okay next up we have a variant cover of x-men issue 12 from 2021 this is the team that was picked at the Hellfire Gala. That was the first ever Hellfire Gala back in 2021. And so on the cover you have the whole team and on the back you have a description of the team. You have their title, you have the team members, and you have where their headquarters was. And below is a little description of the team. Again, back with the first appearance, we have Uncanny X-Men issue 199, aka the first appearance of Rachel Summers, aka the Phoenix. Rachel Summers is the daughter of Jean Grey and Scott Summers, and she is a powerhouse. I mean, being the phoenix, you're going to be one of the most powerful mutants to exist. And the last group of comics that I got from the con was Avengers vs. X-Men. I got round one, I got round two, round three, round four, round five, and I was going to end at round five when there's 12 issues, but the guy there was like, I hate to break up the set, so I'll give it all to you for a cheaper price. And I was like, bet. These were already $2 each comics, so I was pretty happy about that and of course i left there with all 12 issues all avengers versus x-men i mean who doesn't love a good avengers versus x-men fight come on so after the con my friend and i went to this retro games shop and they had comics there which i thought was pretty neat and I was going through a bunch of the bins, and here are some of them that I picked out. We have Deadpool vs. Gambit issue 3. This is a variant cover. And I actually never read this run, but knowing Deadpool and Gambit and their relationship with each other, I figured this is probably going to be a really funny comic, so I picked this up. Then I found Fantastic Four issue number 27. I got this because this was a Claremont comic, and I love Chris Claremont stuff, so I was like, let me give this one a shot. And then I picked up Spider-Man Velocity, which is a comic about the Velocity suit from the game, and my friend told me it was pretty good so I was like yeah I'll give it a shot and here's a bonus comic that I want to show you guys that I picked up at my comic shop and I didn't even know this was a thing until like a few days before free comic book day but I was able to get my hands on the Game Reverse Spider-Man 2 comic issue 1 this is the prequel to the new Spider-Man game okay so then at the con I picked up Deadpool Secret Wars issue number three. This is a graded comic, 9.6. I thought this was cool to have because Secret Wars is happening in a few years and Deadpool is coming to the MCU. So I was like, let me pick up this comic just in case. Okay, so remember when I said to stick to the end to see a really, really cool comic? Well, I'm about to show you guys that really, really cool comic. I have been wanting this comic for a few years now and I was always put back on getting it because it was very, very expensive, but it is one of the most iconic comic book covers to exist and you may already know what I'm about to show you but I have in my possession Secret Wars issue number eight with the black suit Spidey on the cover. Now it does have a little bit of a printing flaw right here as you can see but for the price I got it at I honestly don't mind it. I'm just really happy that I have this comic in my possession. Also, Secret Wars is such an amazing run and I definitely recommend reading it as well as the 2015 version. But yeah, this is probably now one of my most prized possessions. That is all for the comic haul. I will drop in some clips of the comics so you can get a better view of what they look like. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And be sure to check out my other videos on my page. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!